ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਟੀ ਡੰਕਨ ਲਾਈਨ ਤੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਟੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਈਟੋਬਿਕੋ ਨਾਰਥ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਪਾਰਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਨੇ ਲੰਮੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਤੋਂ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਟੀ ਡੰਕਨ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਲੀਡਰ ਡਿਪਟੀ ਲੀਡਰ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਹਾਊਸ ਵੀ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਬਕਾ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਵੀ ਨੇ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਫਾਰਮਰ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਆਲਸੋ ਪਰ ਔਨ ਟੌਪ ਆਫ ਥੈਟ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਟੀ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਪੈਸ਼ੈਲਿਟੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਪੈਂਡੈਮਿਕ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਰਿਸਰਚ ਵਰਕ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਇਸੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਬਣਾਈ ਹੈ ਕਰੋਨਾ ਵਾਇਰਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਿਜਿੱਠਣ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਤੌਰ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਵੀ ਲਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਟੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਰੇਡੀਓ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਸਤਿਰਿਆਕਾ ਜੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੈ ਰੇਡੀਓ ਸ਼ੋ ਆ ਕੇ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਸੈਨੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫਾਰ 올 ਦ ਵਰਕ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਸਚ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਆਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਟੂ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀਜ਼ ਅਕਰਾਸ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਇਟਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਅਨਪ੍ਰੈਸੀਡੈਂਟਡ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਨਾਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਬਟ 올 ਓਵਰ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਰ ਪੈਨਿਕ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਰ ਸਕੇਅਰਡ ਕਨਫਿਊਜ਼ਡ so many things are happening so fast but as far as this pandemic is concerned you have already worked on this you have re- research work on this so tell us more about that first of all thank you mr saini you're right i my own research area was on pandemics it was on pandemic influenza and i led an expedition to the arctic um all in order to better understand a pandemic a different pandemic than the one today and then after i led that expedition and that was about 10 years of my life i helped businesses and organizations like the conference board of canada and different businesses prepare for a pandemic so that they could be ready to protect the health of their employees and then when i came to parliament i i increased that work by looking at disasters and the united nations asked me uh there was about a dozen parliamentarians from around the world that they asked to do work on disasters and reducing the impacts of those disasters so i have a long history in doing research in pandemic and preparing for them and ensuring the health and safety of people okay i was talking to somebody in china today we print directory over there and they were telling me everybody there has a mask they said it's mandatory to put mask without that you cannot go out but they were surprised to know that in canada we are not wearing mask not only we but people coming from across the world to our on our airports nobody is checking them nobody is asking them any question nobody is providing them mask or other these kind of things so people have a complaint they, they have they have a really complaint that why our government is not so strict since in the beginning to stop it because most of the cases have come from other parts of the world to to our country uh mr saini uh our government's number one priority is to protect the health and safety of canadians and and also to make sure they have the funds necessary so they can put food on the table they have a roof over their head and that is my priority and so we are asking people to practice social distancing measures in my constituency office it is closed to the public i am not attending events but our people are working from morning to night uh for the people of etobicoke north so we're practicing social distancing measures everyone has to be practicing these measures it's really important and i put i put out every day how people can protect themselves on my facebook page you know what you need um how often you wash your hands how to properly wash your hands not to go on don't go on non essential travel if you are elsewhere come back to canada well it's possible but my christy my question remains same when they are coming back they have big complaint they are really really upset they are asking they should be get checked up nobody checking up them they have not they, they are asking for mask they are asking for these kind of thing nobody is providing them nothing they they will just hand over them one paper the little bit with information and the, then you go out and then you mix up in the crowd and then we don't know where how they are spreading uh, 
Mr. Saney, we have pay attention to the science and the evidence, always the science and the evidence. So I want to assure people screening has been increased at the borders. When people come back, they have to cite self-isolate for 14 days. If someone becomes sick, there is a lot of work that is done to work out um, all the people that person came in contact with. It's called contact tracing. And we try to find every person they've come in contact with so that they can also practice those important measures. Okay. Um, government has announced so many measures uh, yesterday and uh, Prime Minister has assured Public, don't panic. We are enough funding. We have enough support for the public. So we are still trying to understand how these things will work. We don't know uh, how this mortgage defer uh, jo announcement, how it's going to work. Uh, families will get child benefit tax credit. So many things the government is trying to do. But how long, how early this will reach out to public? Uh, all of these are really important questions, Mr. Saini. These are extraordinary times, and no Canadian should have to worry about paying their bills, their rent, or putting food on the table. And as you rightly said, yesterday we announced eighty. $2 billion dollars um, of support for businesses and workers, and that is the first phase of support. So, for example, um, one of the things we announced is the emergency care benefit, and this benefit would provide up to $900 every two weeks for up to 15 weeks for Canadians who are not eligible for the EI sickness benefit. Um, we know that people, um, this is a really stressful situation um, for those that are abroad. Um, and uh, where it's still possible, we recommend that Canadians who are abroad return to Canada uh, by commercial means while they're still But available. it's very unfortunate, Christy. Indian government has shut down all the international flights. So people who are stuck in India, as far as I know, they won't be able to come back now. Uh, it's not possible for them. They have to wait now. But whosoever is back in the country, uh, I, I hope at least they, they are well uh, looked after. Okay, we, we know there's a long list of the announcements. But at the end, again, I know you have very short time, but at the end, again, I will, uh, I'm happy that Prime Minister has you in that committee. You are an asset for them because you have already worked on that. And I'm sure your recommendations, your advice, your suggestion must be well taken care of by the government, by the Prime Minister. Mr. Saini, uh, my goal is to serve the people of Etobicoke North and all Canadians. We have faced hard times in the past as a country. We are a strong country. We are a strong community. We will face this together. We will get through this together. And I want to assure the people listening that our number one job is protecting their health and safety and secondly, to protect their pocketbook, and that as a government, we will have their backs. And I really appreciate you, Mr. Saini, working so hard to get this important information out to the community because people know, need to know how to protect themselves and their family. Okay. Thank you, Thank you so much, Christy, for sparing some time. At the end, I will request you as you have worked already so much on these kind of situations, can you please have a write-up for us? We can translate that into Punjabi, uh, how we can stop spreading this virus. What are, is your research work? It will help us a lot. Mr. Saini, I look forward to talking to you as often as you need. I am here to support the community. And while the office is closed, I want to assure people that we are working night and day for them. And if you can send us any write-up, maybe small, it will be very good for our listeners and our readers. We can get material to you, absolutely, Mr. Saini. And thank you so much, Christy, and please take care of your uh, father. I know he was in hospital for a long time. You are already taking good care of him, and we wish good luck, best health for your family also. Oh, Mr. Saini, thank you for your kind wishes. 
health and safety to your families and to our communities and to the country. We are united. We are strong. Thank you so much. Bye, Ben. Bye. Bye, Ben.